for those of you who've had a hard time trying to figure out Cami, uh, really this is all you have to do. Since I've already signed the assignment in Cami, all you need to do is just go ahead and go to our class page, go to classwork, review 12 Cami. Now hopefully up at the very top you see this blue button that says open with Cami. If you don't see it, you're probably in a wrong uh, internet browser. Uh, you may not see this in Yahoo or Bing or Safari. If you're in Google Chrome, you should be able to see it. Now right now, I can't do anything to this. I can highlight, but that's about it. When I open it with Cami, I have all of this over here on the side that I can be using to help me figure out these problems. And what I want you to do is I actually want you to write on this paper using Cami. So you can either set the stroke thickness at 1 or 2. I think 1 should be good enough. Pick any color you want. Brenda has 5 candy bars. She wanted each person or one person to have 1 fourth of the candy bar. They've already got the problem right here for me. 5 divided by 1 fourth. So I put that 5 over a 1 and then I'm going to divide it by one-fourth. Now hopefully you remember that I'm supposed to have a reciprocal because this is a division problem. My first one still stays the same, but my second one becomes a reciprocal. And Now I multiply. 5 times 4 is going to give me 20 over 1, which is going to be 20. And that's how I want you to do it. When you turn this in, I'll be able to see where you worked everything out. If you want to, you can either even put your name on this. You can choose any color you want to. The thickness, just don't make it too thick that it becomes so sloppy I can't read what you're doing. And make sure you circle nice and well. When you're completely done, after you get to number 15, this is what you need to do. Don't turn it in yet. Once you, once you circle your an last answer to number 15, go back up here, go back into Google Classroom, go back to the assignment page, and click on the Review 12 Answer page and then just put down what you chose as your answers. Just click in whatever answers you chose. At the very end, just click Submit. And it's going to let you know, view accuracy, it's going to let you know what you got right and what you got wrong. I even have down here what a hint as to what you should have done to get it correct. Now this is just practice. This is just our first time trying it this way, so I'm actually showing you what the correct answer is, but I'm also telling you what you should have done. So go back to the paper. Let's see, here it is. Go back to the paper, and now that I've given you a hint on as to what you should have done for number two, go ahead and do it. Just work it out. Fix your answer. And then once you have everything fixed on this paper, then you can go ahead and turn it in, uh, hit the blue turn in button to turn it in. All right, enjoy.